Here's one, Housley. How do you keep the spark in your marriage alive? Alcohol. <laughs> That's actually a very good question, and the fact that you're asking is actually pretty good, because that means you care. I think there are some marriages out there that are just like, whatever. whatever. But for us, we think it's very important to keep the spark alive. Ask yourself, what did you love about your spouse in the first place? Why did you marry them? I learned this. I'm actually a sapiosexual, uh, which means you are turned on by intelligence. So Adam's intelligence, I don't think I've uh. ever told him that. <laughs> I, I am obsessed with his mind. So I think date nights are really important because that's how we connect. That's when we're able to have adult conversation and we're not just talking about Power Rangers. Two answers, very simple. Communication and doing things together. I got one. Okay. How do you tell Tia and Tamara apart? Just look at them, it's not, it's not. But for some people, we look alike. She has a mole. Yes. We have a little tip, and Adam is right. It's the mole, so think Tamara mole. I swear to God, that's what we do. What 1980s car best describes me? That's good. That's good. That's, I got to answer that one. I, you know, I'm going to say Kit from Knight Rider. I can't believe you remember the name of the car. Do you remember the theme song? Dun, 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 dun. I do. He was smart and he was fast and he was cool. I don't know about the cool part, but uh, or the smart part. And I'm not fast, but he was smart, fast, and cool. So I'm gonna say Kit. Although Magnum PI's Ferrari is pretty sick too. I think you're Kit. It was expensive. I think you're Kit. Okay, I'm Kit. Am Turtles says, "What is your favorite food?" My favorite food is food. I love food. I'm a foodie. I love fried chicken. I love pizza. I love pasta. I love Vietnamese food. I love sushi. Common theme. I love cake. What is the one thing that annoys you? Anything. Anything? Yeah. <sighs> I don't like narcissism. And you're in Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I don't like narcissism. News wasn't much better. I know. It got worse. I don't like narcissistic human beings. One, it's hard to be friends with them. And two, it's like you can never, you, you just, you, you can never get through. Well, because they're only thinking about, about one themselves. thing and it's themselves. These are some good questions, by the way. Yeah, there's a lot of them here. Yeah, so I do see a common thread here. This one says, are you guys ready to have any more children? No. I didn't. Sorry. Two in a barbecue, done. Done? Yes. We did think about it for, I think it, I, I think it was shorter than a millisecond. It was quite hilarious. We were in the kitchen and we were having a great day when everything was going well. That hardly ever happens. And you know, we're just looking at our children, so grateful. And you remember I asked you and I said, do you want to have another one? And you're like, do you? And then we both looked at each other and we were like, nah. No, no we're, we we're might... done. We might be open to adoption, maybe. Yeah, maybe adoption. I mean, we would have more if we were younger. We started later. We, had, we were both yeah. busy in our lives. and He took forever to figure it out. She took forever I to figure say, it out, too. If he didn't take six years to figure it out to marry me, we'd probably have three kids by now. OK, Adam, I know you're not on TV anymore, but keep the look clean and tidy, please. What's okay, what's her name? Sharon James. I'm the reason why he has a beard is because I freaking love it. And they wouldn't let me have one when I was on news. Can you believe that? I felt like I was playing for the Yankees. You had to shave every day. Yeah, you look great. Thank you. I love it. Thank you. I love it. So do the girls on The Real. Thank you. I have to be like, hey now. Wait, Lonnie likes it? Yeah, and Adrian <laughs> does too. Does Lonnie really hate Adam? <laughs> <laughs> Does Lottie really hate Adam? No. It's actually the opposite. She loves him. She loves him so much. And I will tell you this, again, like I said, most of the girls She trolls are, me, man. Yeah, she trolls you because she loves you. It's GPAO, do you guys sleep? Looking in from the outside, it's crazy to see you doing the real, owning a business, and taking care of the kids. I love you guys. 
The answer is no. no. <laughs> what I'm seeing is a lot of parenting questions. questions. Yeah. You have that too on tons, yours? Tons, tons. So that? maybe we should do an entire episode on that We can later. break out, totally. What do you guys think of that? Let us know in the comments below. I have a good one for us. Pick on you. What was your major and minor in college? That's a very, very good, good question. question. Psychology with a minor in abnormal childhood development. Why are you laughing? Because you can psychoanalyze yourself. I do sometimes. I know. Well, my major was foreign policy with an emphasis in international relations. Well, damn. That's just foreign policy. And then communications. And then my master's is in what? Foreign policy, policy. with an interest in terrorism or counterterrorism. That is so deep. Okay, this is a good one for Adam. Lex Smile says, how did you feel dating a sister sister? Was there any pressure? I didn't know she was a sister sister when I first dated her. And then it was all about, you know, I was attracted to her personality. Obviously she's beautiful. And the way we, way we roll is that if you're cool, you're cool, you're not, you're not. It doesn't matter where you're from, what you look like, if you're nice, that's all that matters to us. So you don't have to be famous. She didn't have to be famous. She could have been, Anybody, and I still would have probably been attracted to her just the way she was because of her personality oh, and her look. thank you. And we're going to do more about that one. In fact, we have an episode coming up where we talk about that. Yes, how we fell in love, our love story. Ooh. It was really sweet. Uh... Oh, this is a funny one. Do Adam have fun? Really? I have way more fun than she does. Ask anybody That's who knows me. That's what's crazy. I will tell you this. People always think, you know, when we first met each other, they're like, what is Tamara Mori like doing with a news reporter who's always like in a suit? But the reality is he has more energy and he has more fun than actually I do. Why would I marry somebody like that if I'm like, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a good time? Why would I marry a boring person? I'm going to put I that hashtag that. for Tamara. Tamara's hashtag, I'm a good time. <laughs> I am a good time. That goes to this question here. Comical What's the most thing that's misunderstood about each one of you? Well, my, I think the most misunderstood thing about me is that everyone makes everything political. And it's like, yeah, we all have, not. listen, listen, we all have opinions on things and that's okay. And it's okay to even have different opinions. But just because someone works somewhere, or lives somewhere, or looks some way does not mean that they're that way. What's, what's the mis most misunderstood thing about you? That I'm Miss Goody Two Shoes. I'm actually not. You're not? <laughs> no. I can have type okay. A tendencies. Tendencies? But, okay. but it's not in my personality. It's no. in my, in, in like cleaning and stuff. Yeah, I mean. That's my a... work ethic, but me as a person, like at a party, You're not I'm not like, no, 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 she doesn't. Ooh, pigeon to into She's pigeon not to into no. I No. I think people come across that they, some, a yeah. very few, in fact, a very, 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 very few, I would say you're misunderstood. They think that you're stiff. Yes, I'm not. She is not stiff. That's what I mean by that. She can be annoying when it comes to cleaning, but she's not stiff. No. That's a compliment. That's why I say I know how to have a good time. Ooh, I love this. Aquarius Lady 29 asks, what is your favorite vacation you have went on as a family? As a family or as a couple? Let's do both. You do family, I'll do couple. Okay, what is your favorite? One's our honeymoon. We went to Greece and Turkey and it was unbelievable. Did some amazing things. And the other one was when we went to South Africa for the TV show. My favorite family vacation, I would have to say, is Maui. Hawaii. I absolutely love it because I just like, on my vacations, we vacation differently. He likes to do, 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 go, 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 go. I like a couple of days of downtime, but I want to see or experience something new. I would just like to she look at the ocean. She wants to sit. We went to Europe for 17 days last year. We went to Spain, we went to Portugal. I that was amazing. I only was annoyed four times. Not even that. But that's pretty good for 17 days. 17 days Araya did ourselves. have traveler's diarrhea. She was wearing that a white dress. No, she, parents need to know this. It was the worst. We were on a flight, small bathroom. Oh, really? I put Araya in a white dress, you guys. Uh. A white dress. Something in me just said, you know what? You should probably pack another outfit. It's only two hours. This is a good one. Queen to a king. I love that. Said, what is the biggest obstacle you faced in the public eye? I would have to say, kind of like what you talked about a little bit, 
people like misunderstanding you. Judge. Judging you and basing a false narrative. Making crap up. Let's call it like Pretty it is. Much. Flat I'm out trying. making crap up. <laughs> I'm trying to I'm do it in a I'm just tired of people way. making crap up. What's your favorite book on your bookshelf and why? That's a tough question. I mean, obviously I love the Bible. I mean, I love amazing photo books. Um, and I even thought about even doing one at some point. Um, I do love, like, I love history. I love to read about people that have overcome. Um, so I like to read, like, I have a book on Satchel Paige that's awesome, the pitcher who through to was like 90. Um, a great book on, on Teddy Roosevelt. What's yours? Twilight. <laughs> Faith, family, parenting, we love talking about those things. Don't forget to subscribe to... The Housley Life. The Housley Life. Well, this has been fun. Yes. I actually had more fun than I thought I would. Really?